Okay, today we're talking about the iPilot product, something new from Mincota. The iPilot has two components, it has one remote control, wireless remote control, plus what we call the controller module. The controller module takes the place of your existing control box cover on your Chirova or V2 motor. Some of the features of iPilot include uh, bi-directional communications, which means that not only does the remote talk to the motor itself, but you also get information coming from the motor back to your remote. So you can display information on your remote, such as prop speed, is your prop on or off, what mode of operation are you in. You can use an unlimited number of remotes with the same motor at the same time. The remote is also fully gasketed, sealed, and it floats. Very, very waterproof. Same thing with the controller module for the motor. That's also very sealed waterproof. Some of the other features on here include autopilot. We have two different versions of autopilot. The first version is very similar to the type of autopilot you've used in the past with uh, your existing autopilot motors, compass based only. The other type of autopilot is called advanced autopilot. Not only does that use the compass, but also uses your GPS receiver. And what happens there is if you're on a line trying to keep a straight line and you have some type of uh, crosswind or any type of influence hitting the side of your boat, It'll help to keep on exactly a straight line uh, using GPS along with a compass again to keep you on that line. It'll compensate for any type of outside influences. To record a track, using the remote control, we'll turn on the motor, hit the record button, tell it which track we want to record it on, whether it's A, B, or C. Remember, you got three tracks to use. And now it's recording our track. We can be fishing at this time, we can be sightseeing, we can be watching our fish finder, watching our depth finder, whatever the case may be. The length of the track again, can be up to two miles long, and again you get three different tracks. And those tracks are stored during a power down. You can go from one lake to the next, record a track over there, come back to your other lake, and be able to, uh, to, re to reuse those tracks that you recorded the previous day. Another great feature of iPilot is spot lock. Again, also known as electronic anchoring. Prior to iPilot, if you want to keep your boat in one spot, you had two choices. Either one, stand on your trolling motor's foot pedal all day, or two, throw an anchor overboard and be blown around by the wind. We'll show here with our marker buoy. I'll hit spot lock. iPilot has now recorded the GPS coordinates of the boat is now going to take over all controls of the motor, including prop speed, turning the prop on and off, as well as steering. Uh, one last feature on here would be cruise control. With that, you can dial in a certain trolling speed, whether it's 0.3 miles an hour, 1.5 miles an hour, whatever it is, you dial in that speed, enable cruise control, and the trolling motor will keep you at that speed. Many of these features you can use in conjunction with one another. Autopilot can be used with cruise control, for instance. Um, replaying a track, you can use that uh, in conjunction with cruise control as well. While you're recording the track, you can use autopilot and cruise control. So many of these features can all be used uh, in conjunction with one another. So that about wraps up the, the iPilot product. Remember, easy installation, one remote, one control head, one cable to plug in for your Tarova users. This product is compatible with any Tarova motor, any V2 motor, and for you saltwater guys, all the SP and ST motors as well.